Right now we're going to have a look at a black and white kind of film noir kind of style of processing. So right now here we have a photograph uh, that I shot of Lana and notice that it's very bright and that's done intentionally. I did a single light source and I put it across the side of her face and her body so we can go for a very strong kind of a feel here for very strong light. So let's go ahead and process this. The first thing we want to do is we want to convert it to black and white. And let's have a look at a black and white technique working with uh, people. So let's just bring it down so we can see our whole head. Notice we've got the body goes down to there. Let me just zoom out a little bit here just so I can see because we're going to get some differences in the colors there. And I want to make sure that our conversion is correct. So in the layers, we're going to go down and we're going to go to an adjustment layer and we're going to choose our black and white. So this immediately converts it to black and white. And you can see if the properties, let's pop this out because there's a lot of sliders here. And you can see that we've got the reds, yellows, greens, cyans, blues, and magentas broken down. And as we change those areas, we can change the way they convert. Now notice when you get too harsh and we can zoom in on our photograph right there, we start to get this horrible look on the face. So you don't want that to happen. So let's keep it a little bit maybe there and let's zoom out a little bit and what we can do rather than doing it this way and trying to guess we can grab our little finger tool here and we can drag across to lighten and darken different portions of the photograph so let's try and keep this a little bit glamorous so let's pull that up a little bit there let's play around for top not bad now let's zoom down a little bit and let's look at the color here Notice that we can really change that. We can make that very, very dark, or we can make it very light as it's working on that underlying tone. I'm going to pull it back to about there, maybe a little more, where it just really starts to just close that up a little bit. And let's look at what we've got going on with the face here. And just be very, very careful here with the skin tones. So let's just go maybe there, because we don't want to kill the skin tones. And the eyes, obviously, we can click in the eyes, and we can change those and as we do that notice it's also affecting the hair so let's do it to about there so that's looking pretty good so let's just uh, put our properties panel back all right so we've created our basic black and white now what I want to do is I want to really punch up the contrast on this I'm just gonna hit control zero just so we can fit the whole thing in here and now we're gonna go in here and we're gonna create a levels adjustment and what I want to do is pull this up because I actually want to block in some of those shadows there. Because that's kind of, you know, we really want to just actually clip some of those off. And that gives us that very, very kind of clipped look. And we can play around with this if we want. I'm actually going to darken it down because I'm going for a very, very high contrast here. And I'm going to take the highlight and I'm going to pull that up a little bit. So we're actually starting to just blow out some of these highlights. And then if we look at this, you can see the kind of look we're getting. We've gone from this. So this is our contrast here. And then we've gone to that kind of a look there. Now, if you wanted, you could even pull it up a little more and literally blow out some of those areas. Although in this case, I don't know if I like that too much. Let's play around. I'll take it back. Just That's just a little too much. There we go. And play around with the contrasts there. And notice because of the really hot lighting hitting both the eyes, the eyes still show. Now you could easily go in here and start to um, work with some of these levels if you want. If there were certain areas you wanted to just plug up and make those very, very dark or less dark, we could play around with them. So let's see what we've got going off our levels here. Let me go into my level. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to touch this up a little bit. So what I want to do is with the mask here, I'm going to paint with black. I'm going to grab a black brush and we'll open up our brushes here. Let's get a soft edge brush, brush here and 35 and soft is looking pretty good. Now, if you're working with the mouse, bring it down to say about 30%. And then you can start to paint. Now I'm using a pressure sensitive tablet. So let's have a look at the brushes panel and there's a couple more settings that we can do. So let's go to the brush. Now, if you're using a mouse, just begin to paint uh, in a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off Shape Dynamics, and I'm going to turn on Transfer to Pen Pressure. 
And so we're going to let that go. Because I'm using a pressure sensitive tablet, I'm going to pull this up to about 50. Now, if you're not using a tablet, keep it at 30. And so I'm just gently painting here with the black on that layer mask there. And I'm just gently painting, just want to bring a little bit of that detail back there. See that? Just where it starts to show. Not a lot. But I just want that little tiny bit of the texture there to begin to show around in her top there, just to show a little bit more form in, in our model here. And let's go down here maybe a little bit, just touch it gently here. Not a lot, just a little band of light across there just to show a little bit of that texture so we don't want to completely kill it and then where we went on this arm where it's like completely blown out maybe just play with that a little bit and then let's do the same thing on the face just smoothing out the cheeks and the nose a little bit see that we can just gently just open those up a little bit and maybe around the eye so it doesn't look too strange Keep that shadow there around the nose, though, and I'm going to keep the shadow here. Maybe open that up a little bit and just on the back of her neck. So we can see we kind of got that very dramatic look. Maybe her lips are a little too dark, too. I'm going to just go over her lips gently there. A little too much. And that's probably from the black and white adjustment. In fact, we can tweak that if we want. If we go back to our black and white, we grab our little guy here and we can go on the lips. And we could actually play around with that. There we go. I'm just increasing it a little bit so that the red, the bright red on the lips is not so strong because it's just felt a little overdone for my liking. And uh, more or less, there we go. So you could just keep tweaking. Obviously, every photo is different. And you can tweak around with your photographs and, and play with these layers and the different masks to get the results that you're really looking for.